Welcome to the investor party. You see, we got the street lined up. JD's got his obnoxious truck parked pretty much in the middle of the road. True JD fashion. But we're rolling up to this house here in Casey, South Carolina. It's the newest rehab project that we just took down. Cute, cute little neighborhood right here in the Casey Avenues. Now, if you take a look around the neighborhood, this entire area is revitalizing and these old shotgun houses are turning around and selling for top dollar. It's crazy just seeing how the proximity and location of land sells deals. Let's take a quick look inside. Boom, boom. What's up? What's cracking? Come on in. We're full of cabinets in here. Check it out. We moved the door over just so it lines up a lot better with the center of the house. And this is going to open up the visuals of the house a lot because we just busted a hole in here and the countertop's going to spill over this and around the corner and come out and look really nice. The countertop's going to go all over here and our sink's going to be right here looking into the heart of the home. Uh, we're also going to have all over there, it's going to be countertop as well. Now you may be asking yourself, why did we leave this thing here? Uh, well, because it cost us a lot of money to move electrical uh, and to just blow out the whole wall. We would still have a header. It's not going to be completely flat. We don't want to get into redoing the ceilings, getting into the woods with all of that stuff. So it saves us a lot of money by coming down like this. And there's an electrical switch right here for the kitchen. So just by cutting this, we save thousands of dollars instead of demoing the whole wall. Uh, that needs to move. Yeah. Um, by just keeping kind of a, just using our brain and just tweaking a couple little things, we can save yeah. a lot of money. So we've done this a time or two, of <laughs> course, and you live and learn. This one was a little out of the box because we had a very small area to work with. It was moving things, moving this, moving a wall to make it as functional as possible. All to make the kitchen feel big and to feel usable for the end buyer. So it should be really nice cooking food over here. We literally like act this stuff out. <laughs> doing dishes, doing dishes, washing my hands, dishwasher throw stuff right in the dishwasher right beside me. Fridge is over here, sink, range, everything is pretty couple steps to it. Like and and we got lots there. and lots of stuff. Yeah, no more galley kitchen, little oh, tiny crack yeah. house but yeah. kitchen. This is the existing laundry room that was originally an exterior area. We're going to move this exterior door that's already in place here, move it over here, make this heated square footage, washer, dryer in here, install a new interior door here. That way, your laundry's not outside. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> now, up here is what Ben's talking about. So this tiny little sucker, which you can tell was built after the fact, right? We got the exterior brick here. We chose to take the route of keeping it as heated square footage because price per square foot in this neighborhood is astronomical. So keeping that as it sits obviously makes sense when you can maximize the sale price of your home. Let's take a look at this nasty bathroom, man. This thing, whoo! I've been calling it the office. We're gonna knock out that door there, going into it, make that a cased opening, and the window that you see to the left is actually gonna be an exterior door to the backyard as well. There's Hell stairs yeah. outside. Yeah, there's stairs already there, so they were like, obviously it was a door at one point, we're gonna make it a door again. Let's go. So. Can I just comment on uh, how much like usable space this hallway's taken up? <laughs> I just told him that while you were in there. Like, hello, <laughs> this could be literally two feet of additional space inside of your bedrooms but you chose to just make a little congregation area where it's like a waiting room in your hallway now i will say that so my wife that. would put a chair in this corner put a mirror up there if she come in here and like read her book or read her bible in the morning whatever she would be reading stuff right there uh and have a little sitting place so people use stuff that's weird it's true. You know, I guess we could put a coat closet there, but you know, that's that's no, kind of outside of the scope. Yeah. So yeah. this used to also be a uh, wood stove. Yeah, this was the it has heat a chimney back here. House. So with this being a two bedroom, the goal would be to essentially figure out where we can add an additional bedroom. However, inside of this floor plan, there's really no way to make that work. Did you see this room? 
Get you some of that, bro. Yeah. Get you some of that goodness. Come on in, the water's just fine. <laughs> Good thing about this house is Charlie found Pex new plumbing pretty much in all the house. So there's only like one or two drain lines that uh, we have to fix a little bit of. Uh, but the house has all new plumbing. So it's kind of a magical find for us. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. We have 24 out, 24 out, 36 flat to the inside. So you know what the cool thing about building a business and having strategic partnerships? This is my first time walking through the scope of work inside of this house, and they've already started, right? Like handing that off to JD, who has roll up your sleeves integrator plus extensive rehabbing experience. It's literally plug and play, build it into the machine where I can focus on. Woo, 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 woo. Staying here in the clouds and dreaming, right? Every great dreamer needs a freaking brainiac in the operation. That's JD. I see he's already got his shelves for the closet over there. Yep. <laughs> and, the, and the pole. And the pole. Take it out of that closet. It's going to that yeah. closet. And here we're uh, demoing the closet. It's a full gut in there. It's nasty. Yeah, full gut. But we demoed the closet, so we'll go back there, and the vanity will stretch between the side of the tub and the wall, a 48 inch vanity, so that'll be in there. And then that area back there, we'll wall it off partially, uh, but it'll have like shelves Shelving. in there. So you can have additional storage for your makeup or your towels or whatever, it'll look really nice. And then that gives you room for the toilet because believe it or not, before you could wash your hands while sitting on the toilet. It was that close, it was that tight. Because uh, the vanity sticks out to here and the toilet stuck out to here. You literally had to like turn sideways to get between them. Um, so it opens it up. This will still be a five foot uh, tub shower combo. Uh, and it will be much nicer. And of course we had to move the closet because of that. But doors move into the new closet. This door. Go. We got to get a new one. Yeah. Let's roll it. Oh, got to get that tub out of here. The ceiling's sweet. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. Man, that ceiling fan. I think that ceiling fan's going to the office. I think, I think it looked great right above Ben's desk. Yeah, right there. Look even better in the dump. Humbling. Yeah. Look even better in the dump. <laughs> <laughs> they had a permanent roof tie. It's kind of like a screen porch. They had a permanent roof tie, and it was covered, but outside. Yeah. And then everybody just adds walls. That's, that was original, because that tabled off the, uh, the uh, roof corner. The roof the king rafter coming off the corner off this way. And this brick thing in the middle is where that heat from the hallway was. Yeah. You, you keeping this old awning? Yeah. Might as well, huh? Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah, we'll paint it. It has. See the bricks? Yeah. I'll have to build some a handrail back here, but that's it. So this used to be a door, and they walled it off. But this crap, it's not even the same siding. Yeah. yeah. And it's not done right, as you can see. So that's why I said we got to blow it out anyway. Do you want to make it a screen or you want to make it a, and close it back? But look at the window. It's got a new window. It's not done right, but it's got a new window. Yeah. There's also power in the backyard. The water's not on. That's it. Just the L-shape the big red. Oh, this is all pavers. We found pavers here, man. Look. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll get out here with the good old Echo tomorrow and see what we got. Y'all stay tuned for the updates on the rehab process. We'll see you on the other side.